Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us again. In this segment, we're going to have a conversation with Dr. Ayelet Sagre. She's joining us to share some research that she presented at the Association for Research in Vision and Ophthalmology. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Dr. Sagre, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us what led you to ophthalmology. Uh, yes, so my background is in uh, uh, initially in biology and genetics and um, computational biology and uh, statistical genetics, and I, I was very interested in uh, combining um, uh, computational genomics with uh, genetics of large population uh, studies and, and complex diseases to, to learn more about the uh, causal biological processes of common late onset diseases. And um, I was very fortunate to find a faculty position at the Department of Ophthalmology at Mass Ioneer. Uh, to bring my expertise in uh, statistical genetics and genomics to study complex eye diseases. Your latest research was presented at ARVO 2022. What is the title of your research and why did you conduct it? Um, the, the title of my research is uh, Integrating Gene Regulation and Single Cell Expression with the Genetic Association Identifies Genes and Cell Types Contributing to Primary Open Angle Glaucoma Risk and in Intraocular Pressure. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the goal of this research was to uh, take advantage of these very large population-based genetic studies uh, where we can uh, query uh, common DNA variants, millions of common DNA variants genome-wide in uh, tens and hundreds of thousands of individuals to identify uh, genetic risk factors for uh, primary open-angle glaucoma and, and its major risk factor in triocular pressure. And we're interested in using these um, uh, genetic uh, discoveries to guide us to the uh, underlying causal uh, biological processes for, for this disease uh, by integrating these large population-based uh, studies with functional um, genomic uh, data. So uh, we integrated uh, studies that measure the effect of DNA variants on gene expression, gene regulation in different tissues um, from the Genotype Tissue Expression Project that contain uh, cell types that are pathogenic uh, for glaucoma, such as neuronal cells or arterial cells, uh, and the single cell expression data in different eye tissues that are relevant to the pathogenicity of, of glaucoma, including tissues in the um, anterior segment, uh, such as the outflow pathway that, that regulates the aqueous humor, the fluid that flows in the front of the eye and regulates uh, IOP homeostasis, and um, as well as tissues in, in the posterior part of the eye, including the optic nerve head and, and retina that are relevant to the uh, pathogenicity of uh, POAG. And um, so I'll just say a word about primary open angle glaucoma. It's, it's characterized by gradual retina ganglial cell death, um, which leads to uh, progressive optic nerve degeneration and eventually leads to visual field loss. And it's uh, a second uh, causing um, second leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide, affecting about 70 million people. And uh, not a lot is known about the biological processes and cell types that are implicated in, in POAG um, uh, development. Uh, a major risk factor is elevated intraocular pressure, but interestingly, about 40% of patients have IOP in the normal range. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping with this study by... Um, asking whether genes that map to these genetic risk loci for uh, POAG and IOP, integrating that together with information we have about genetic regulation of gene expression and their expression in, in different cell types in, in the front and back of the eye, if we could uncover uh, which cell types are important for the pathogenicity of POAG and, and which genes and pathways um, uh, uh, their, their dysregulation may lead to the uh, progression of POAG. Uh, and, and so we developed a statistical computational method that integrates these um, the, the genetic and, and functional genomic studies together. And, and what we found was that a, a lot of the genes that were mapped to these genetic associations with POAG and IOP were enriched in uh, fibroblast cells um, in, in both the conventional and unconventional outflow pathway of the aqueous humor in the front of the eye. So um, a lot has been studied about the, the effect of the conventional outflow pathway that contains the trabecular meshwork and Schlem's canal on IOP uh, uh, homeostasis, but less has been studied about the um, uh, unconventional, the uveoscleral 
of flow pathway that contains the ciliary muscle and iris. Um, we also found that the genes of, um, that are associated with intraocular pressure were enriched in parasites, uh, which are cells that line the um, neural cells that wrap around the, the endothelial cells in, in uh, capillary um, cells. And so this suggests a new, um, uh, new set of cells that could be regulating uh, IOP in the, in the vasculature in the front of the eye. Uh, interestingly, in the back of the eye, in the optic nerve head and in, in the retina, uh, we found um, strong enrichment of genes that map to PAG in um, uh, astrocytes and mulaglia cells. These are, these are neuronal support cells, macroglia cells that support the uh, function and structure of retina ganglial cells. And we did not see a lot of enrichment of genes associated with PAG with retina ganglial cells, suggesting um, uh, a potentially important role for dysregulation of genes in uh, macroglia cells in, in um, affecting the sensitivity of retina ganglia cells to, to cell death. Uh, we also found um, enrichment of genes mapped to, to POAG and IOP uh, um, uh, levels in uh, additional cells in, in the optic nerve head, including uh, uh, the um, oligodendrocytes that um, affect the uh, conductivity of the signal along the retinal ganglia cell axon to the brain and the um, uh, Schwann cells that, that uh, affect the regeneration of the retinal ganglia cells, uh, as well as um, enrichment of, of POAG and IOP genes in vascular endothelial cells and, and smooth muscle cells. Uh, so the study suggests uh, some, some less well-established uh, cell types that may be affecting uh, POAG uh, risk and, and IOP uh, regulation, and also suggest some, some genes and pathways that may be good uh, potential targets for um, uh, you know, developing uh, new therapies. How significant are these findings going to be when it comes to treating these conditions and preventing them with this uh, knowledge of genetics into the disease? Right. So I think um, uh, thinking about uh, cell therapy, for example, in the, in the posterior part of the eye, uh, restoring, for example, uh, retinal ganglial cells um, that have degenerated. Uh, I think it's important to, to I think these discoveries uh, suggest that it's going to be important also to um, uh, treat the neuronal support cells, such as the um, macroglia cells, um, and, and consider them in the cell therapy that maybe just regenerating the RGCs, uh, the retinal ganglial cells will not be uh, sufficient. Or in the front of the eye, um, the, a lot of the, uh, the surgical intervention to date for uh, alleviating elevated IOP, I'm, I'm not a, a clinician, but my understanding is through um, perforating the, the uh, conventional outflow pathway, the trabecular meshwork, Schlimpf's canal region. Um, and, and our study suggests that it might um, be important to, to, uh, to study further also the role of the unconventional uh, outflow pathway, the, the cells in the uh, ciliary muscle and iris that may also be affecting um, IOP uh, um, homeostasis. Give us a website where our listeners can learn more. Um, so there's a preprint uh, of, of this work uh, on Med Archive. Uh, the, the link to um, the, the Med Archive is uh, www.medrxiv.org. And if you uh, search there, um, my last name, Segre, A-V, uh, Glaucoma, and GWAS, uh, you should be able to find uh, the preprint for this work, and it's currently under review in a journal. And I do believe that more can be found at www.masseyeandear.org. Is that correct? That's right, yes. Um, th there should be also uh, a link to um, my website and, and the work we're doing in our lab and um Yes, I think you can find some more information there as well. And this has been a collaboration with um, uh, other clinicians and, and, and scientists and consortia, uh, including Dr. Janie Wiggs, um, who has led the uh, uh, large trans ancestry uh, primary open angle glaucoma genome wide association study meta analysis, an international uh, effort uh, with, with many investigators uh, internationally. Um, and also with uh, Josh Sains from Harvard University, who has done a lot of single nucleus and single cell RNA sequencing of, of uh, eye tissues in the front of the back of the eye that we use for the study. 
I appreciate the information, and I'm hoping that uh, you'll come back and speak with us in the future. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, and uh, thank you so much for your time this evening. Gosh, it was a pleasure talking to you as well. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Ayelet Sagre. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube. YouTube.com, Health Professional Radio.